tell us a bit more about this winning book and the author. So Hervé Letellier is a French uh, author, playwright um, and linguist. Uh, he's published some 30 books already, uh, including poetry collections, uh, erotic stories and uh, several novels. Uh, so this is his latest novel, uh, L'Anomalie or The Anomaly. Um, it takes place in 2021, so quite close to the present day. Um, and it revolves around a flight between Paris and New York uh, on which something very strange and dramatic takes place. Won't give too much away about that. Um, it's narrated alternately by 11 different characters, all of whom are on that flight. Uh, among them are Blake, who's a respectable family man and chef uh, with a part-time career as a hitman. Um, and Slim Boy, a Nigerian pop star who's struggling with hiding his sexuality. Um, and I, it's easy to see why the Goncourt uh, Academy chose this book. It's really doing a lot. It's a, a page turner, but at the same time, it's a cleverly layered piece of literary fiction. Um, it's doing so many different things in one novel. It's blurring the genres, uh, making 11 different characters feel real and interesting. Um, but at the same time, it's very... It's experimental, but it's very readable and accessible. Um, difficult to blend those two things. Also, the fact that it's a, a pacey thriller is very good for sales, uh, particularly for book bookshops coming out of lockdown in, in France. Mm, it sounds good. And that's not always the case with Goncourt winners, that the books are accessible. Uh, this is a prize that's really about ritual, which, of course, couldn't happen this year because of the pandemic. Yes, uh, France's, uh, the Goncourt is France's most prestigious literary prize. It dates all the way back to 1903. And this year, uh, it was held on Zoom, like most events in 2020. Um, so there was a very different atmosphere. Usually there's a lot of chaos. There's a big press scrum around the, around the winner as they arrive to get their prize. Um, and it was chaotic in quite a different way this year with all 10 members of the Goncourt Academy connecting at home, having technical problems, uh, some having tropical blue screens behind them. Um, and it's really a break with tradition because for over a century, uh, they've been meeting, these 10 members of the Academy have been meeting in the same room, the same restaurant, that's the Druon restaurant in central Paris. Um, and they have a luxurious lunch and they decide and announce the winner. Um, and the, this whole process is just steeped in, in ritual. Even their cutlery is engraved with their names. Mm -hmm. uh, the prize itself is worth just 10 euros, which won't buy you much here in <laughs> Paris. <laughs> uh, but the real prize is in recognition and book sales. The average winner in the past few years has racked up about 400,000 copies sold. Uh, compared to your average book in France, probably sells a couple of thousand copies. Um, after postponing the prize in, in solidarity uh, with bookshops, which were forced to close during lockdown, uh, the Goncourt Academy um, announced it would hold the prize in time for the bookshops to really feel the benefits uh, of the sales ahead of uh, Christmas, Christmas gift buying. Great, Kathy. thanks for that. Any word if it'll be translated into English soon? Oh, I'm sure it will. Sure <laughs> Hopefully, when. it sounds great. <laughs> Every Letelier, the winner of this year's Goncourt Prize for L'Anomalie, the Anomaly. Thank you so much, Catherine Kidier-Clifford.